Hello everyone and welcome back to another custom die cash review. Today we have Down Heart Juniors 2021, uh, the United, well yeah, United for America. This was the Richmond race version, not raced win. I wish he did win the race, but it, unfortunately he did not make it. Uh, he just finished up with a little bit of a wall scrape on the side and a few other couple little details that I wanted to uh, kind of do. So I got two of these. I reviewed the first one a little while back. Of course, that was just the plain release, and then I took the second one, made it into a custom, of course, of the race, uh, the Richmond race, and I'm going to do the same thing for the Authentic sign, and then put that up for sale if anybody wants to go check that out, which I haven't done that yet, obviously, because I just got it a few days ago, but that will be a next project coming very soon. But obviously, this is the Gold Series Edition. This is for my collection, because I really like this paint scheme, and I got a 124 as well. I don't know if I want to keep it leave it clean or make it a race version and then sell it off or whatever because that's a that's a pretty nice paint scheme I'm not, I'm not gonna lie in all honesty i don't even really know if i've made a review on the 124 i don't think i have so if i have not done a 124 review i will definitely get to that so here is the die, the die cast in the box of course we got the special box for Don her junior because Snow Junior, why not have a special box for him? But I have started to uh, make custom boxes and labels, so I am going to try to uh, eventually step up to a, a more detailed box because I have no detail on the box. I just got it on the car. So this was made before away. I started doing the actual uh, diet, like custom boxes themselves. So I'm going to try to start doing that a little bit uh, more often. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get this custom die cash of you out of the way. And I'm laughing because my cat keeps biting me, but you know, it's fine. What are you doing, huh? Oh, what are you doing? What do you see? Oh, well. Anyway, let's get this die cash of you underway. Here's a die cast right out of the box. And of course... First things first, you can see a couple of custom features like the window net and all that good stuff. So we will kind of get into that here in just a minute. And uh, yeah, let's go and take a look at this die cast. So onto the hood. Uh, of course, we got United for America. Got a little bit of uh, race wear and stuff on the hood. And underneath that, I'm still kind of unsure how to pronounce it. I don't know if it's Unilever, Unilever, or whatever. I don't really know uh, how to. It's kind of hard to see it too because I got that uh, race wear on the top of it anyway. I'm pretty sure I'm, I butchered it in the first die cash review too. Also, if you want to go check out the just a plain paint scheme, uh, I will have a link in the description down below if you want to go check that out. So, do as you wish. But anyway, uh, going on to some more detail on the interior. Got a little bit of uh, detail on the dashboard there. Got Xfinity and Dale Jr. right there, of course. Got the number 8 and... Was that, yeah, Unilever? I want to say it's Unilever. I'm probably wrong. Got the number 8 right there as well. Dale Jr. on the back name banner, and never forget 911, of course, on the deck lid. We got a black spoiler right there on the back. United for America. Of course, you got the tail lights. Got a REM, or not REM, RE mechanics, where I believe. Mac tools there. Of course, you got the Camaro and the tail lights back here with the Chevy bow tie and the camera. Got the number eight on the other side. So here is the good side. Here's the side with all the damage and whatnot. He ended up smacking the wall, I think it was a couple times, uh, but it got Never Forget, of course, got Unilever there, or again, whatever that is. United for America, of course, covered with that, a, uh, it's a brownish, blackish type uh, wall scrape, that's just how the car was. So I tried to recreate that as much as possible. I don't think it did a, a fantastic job, but I mean, it could be a little worse. We got the blacked out uh, wheel right here, of course, from the damage. Got a little bit more race wear around the quarter panel here. Moving on, we got Dove Men Care Hellman's right there. Of course, we got the little uh, plate cover up, a little plate cover there. Got the number eight with some more damage on that. On the B post, we got Safety Clean, I believe. I don't know what that one is. Can't tell what that one is either, but I've seen it before. And SEM there. Got Dylan Hart Jr. with the Texas flag and Junior Motorsports with a winter sticker. Now, the winter sticker was actually not from Junior, but from Josh Berry at Martinsville. And another thing is, Josh Berry would actually go on to win another race. Uh, not in the number eight, but in the number one because he was filling in for Michael and Nett. So that's something a little cool there. Uh, a little bit some, or some more, you know, race by around the wheel well and stuff. Of course, on the front end, we got some. We'll get to that in just a second. We've got NASCAR Race Car Xfinity Series, or NASCAR Xfinity Series Mobile One ARP. Of course, we got some more of that damage there. A little bit of race wear tire, not a whole lot, but there's a little bit there. 
Moving on to the front end, we just got a whole bunch of raceware. I don't really know how much was on the front end. So I just kind of threw some on there and hoping for the best. And on this side, got some more raceware around the wheel wells and stuff. Of course on the tires also. Then we got the window net down right here. We got United for America, all that good stuff there. A little bit of raceware around the wheel well. Of course got some uh, fuel spillage. Now on the interior, you can kind of see, uh, but it is a silver uh, roll cage. You can kind of see on that first one there. And so is the steering wheel, the shaft, and the little... Uh, where the horn would be on a normal car, that is painted silver. And then, of course, you got the little gear shifter in there, which is silver. Roll bars are silver. And then, of course, you got the detail on the dashboard, which we kind of touched up on earlier. And then, of course, we are not done there. We are going to flip underneath and have a little look-see about what's going on under the car. So, of course, I do all my detail like this. Let me see if I can get a better angle. There we go. So you can see, of course, the fuel uh, fuel tank there is red. They got a little red piece there. Of course, you got the black with the exhaust pipes. Uh, this little thing going on up here got a little brace over the transmission and drive shaft, which is silver. The little brace is black, of course. Back axles are black. So there's a few things, or not a few things, but there's one thing I've kind of changed. And, well, no, there's a couple details I left out on this one because I didn't do it yet. So this is now uh, gray instead of silver. Because the gray is just a little bit harder or a little bit easier to work with. The silver is really liquidy and runny. So until I get some different paint, I'm just going to roll with the silver for now. Or the gray, I'm sorry, not the silver. Another thing is, I do not know if there is any, like, wheel markings. Like, you know how they have the little piece of tape to uh, kind of line up with the wheel. I don't know if there was any on this car, but this was done before I used to do those. Or before I do those. I do those now. And another thing is, on the steering wheel, uh, now I do a little red spot uh, for, like, the center piece of the wheel. You know, like in the car as well, they'll kind of have a little piece of tape or something just to kind of mark uh, how straight the wheel is. The steering wheel, not the tire. So I, I have that as well. So there's a few little minor uh, changes I do to my customs now and make them a little bit more accurate. Just a little, not a whole lot. But I am trying to uh, get some more detail in these little things. It's pretty hard because uh, it, you're working with a very small amount of space. I mean, it's like... A little longer than my pinky because like I mean these cars are very small again it is a 164 scale so you're not going to be able to add nowhere near as much detail as you could on a 124 or you know something like that I'm pretty sure I maxed out on uh, detail only thing I could do is the seat belts and maybe that little piece of fabric right there uh, between the little uh, pole for the uh, what am I trying to say the roll cage is like there's this wee, wee little space right there. Uh, you can kind of see in front of the actual windshield or the window net here is a wee little space. And Diecast Buffet does that. I don't know how, but he does. And he actually has like seat belts in his 164 too, which is incredible, by the way. Uh, he has like, he actually like cuts out strips. I don't know if it's tape or like pieces of paper, but mine would, mine would be painted on. So I got a little less detailed than his, but I'm still pretty satisfied with, you know, how far I've come with my customs and stuff and also speaking of customs and Dell jr i'm going to the martinsville race this year for junior's return and for the cup race so i'm going to see if we can possibly get a junior race version at martinsville made whenever that happens hopefully it doesn't crash because that would be really sad but whatever happens if possible we will try to recreate that to the best of our ability and then see what we can go on from there of course i wouldn't sell that because that would be a race i've seen in person Junior's final, maybe final race at Martinsville, I don't know for sure, but it would probably be my last time seeing Junior race. And I don't think I've seen Junior race since 2012, so it's been a pretty long time since I've seen Junior in the seat for a ride. So we'll try to have some fun with that. But anyway, with that being said, that'll be all for this custom die cast review. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. Yeah.